Hello and welcome back. Now to the last structure we want to discuss, the circle structure. Circle structure. So I will again start to draw it. This time I also have a point where we summarize things. Okay. Then I have a block and I have another block. Now do the connections. Now do the connections. Of course, I have again an input value. Xi. Oh, now with the big pen. Xi. Yeah. Then I do have here something which is going further. I do have here already the output value and now it comes the output value there's a feedback of the output value and this feedback of the output value is leading to here So here we have XO. Mm -hmm. Let me see. An arrow. Arrow drawn. And now here we have K1 in the forward part. And in the reverse part, I'll call it KG. Yeah. It's a feedback loop. There is positive feedback, like it would draw now. This may lead to swinging systems. Usually we use reverse feedback. So we say it's a minus here. Okay. So this is the feedback signal, XG. And this is XO. XO multiplied by KG. I hope you can see. Yeah. This signal here yeah, is xi minus xg yeah. and this xo here is xi minus xg multiplied by k1. Okay. This signal multiplied by k1. This signal is now xi. xi minus and this xg is xo multiplied by kg multiplied by k1. Now I have xo on both sides of the equation. So I have to separate them ah, k1 of course k1 on the other side of the equation yeah. now I bring them also xo k1 plus xo multiplied by kg is xi mm -hmm. So, XO, 1 divided by K1 plus KG is XI. Okay. Now I'll bring them to the same KG, K1 divided by K1. Okay. Divisor, same divisor, K1. Yeah. And now I can bring it to the other side. So XO equals XI K1 divided by 1 plus KG K1. Or 
if I have it the other way, xi 1 divided by 1 k1 plus kg. That's the total. So this already describes the sensitivity. If this is changing, this is changing a little bit, this is changing according to this term. Yeah? Let's say this is changing by 1, so this is changing 1 multiplied by this term. Interesting in these cases is this here. 1 divided by k1. Let's say if this k1 is really, 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 really huge, yeah? big, 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 then this xo is approximately x1 because this is getting zero or very small. Yeah? So the, the sensitivity is only given by this back feed. Mm, someone could say, what about it? I mean, the sensitivity is always somehow reliant to some proportional factor eh? because it's the steepness. And just because I add now a second one, I don't have to wonder why it's still somehow reliant on some element in there. Eh? So where is the big benefit? Big benefit is this thing to reach these high high amplifications we need extra extra uh, supply yeah so these things always work with supply with supply power and here I do nothing more than creating a comparison a, a comparable size comparable value yeah and I do compare the input value with this compared value. Maybe I have to transform it a little bit, yeah? make it smaller or bigger. Yeah? But I do compare the input value to the output value. And if this, this gain factor is very high, this is very small, very little. Yeah? So the input value is almost compensated by the output value. Yeah? This means if there is a this and this is the same and I only have a small, small, small signal coming here, I do not use a lot of uh, energy from my measured object. Okay, That's the big advantage of these circle lines here. That I do not drain too much, too much energy from there. Yeah. So I could, for instance, I could measure, I could measure voltage. Yeah? Here I have some voltage I want to measure. Usually, then you have learned this is this is our voltage source. And we have some internal resistance. Yeah? So if I want to measure the voltage here at this point, this, this voltage I want to measure, okay, then I add here my measuring equipment, voltmeter. Yeah? And because I add here my measuring equipment, yeah, I produce a current. There's some current running through. Yeah? And this current is also running here. Yeah? And this current will make a voltage drop here. This voltage drop was not there before. Yeah? This voltage drop was not there before. Now, just because I added my measurement system, I did an error. By the way, that's our next topic reliability and this is one example of a so-called uh, systematic error I cannot avoid this I cannot avoid this yeah I will make an error however if I use this yeah 
and I produce here internally a voltage which is about the same value like this one. There is no current running. Yeah? If I have here a separate voltage generator inside because of my compared a unit, my compare value, yeah? then this current here is almost zero. I'm not draining energy from a measured object. This is the big advantage of the circle structures here. Okay, that's it for the structured structures. Next time, next time, next video, we'll talk about reliability of measurement systems. We know, like said here, we are doing an error. Yeah, we will see what we can do about these errors. So. This will be then in the next video, reliability of measurement systems. This time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.